Tactu, who has three of them in the Yonkers trot at 17. Yeho Junction won of last week's Elam winners at three and a half. Lord Stormont, the other Elam winner at three to five. Stag's Breath, post seven, Burnt Lindstead at 25, and rounding it out, Baltic Bet and Billy Parker Jr. on the board at 17. First leg of Trotting's Triple Crown, the Yonkers trot behind the gate, we're back. They're off dominant dream tries for the leap. Take chances alone the inside. Second, Lord Stormont towards the outside. Third, slash on the rail. Fourth, take chances goes off stride. Around the turn down the back stretch. Dominant dream in front by a length and a half. Lord Stormont second. Four lengths back to Baltic bet the outside. Third, slash Loney inside. Fourth, gap two and a half lengths. Max Sawley fifth. Yeehaw Junction sixth. Stags breath seventh. Approaching the quarter pole, Lord Stormont on the outside to get the lead. Dominant Dream back to second. Quarter times 28 and 1. Moving around the paddock turn, Lord Stormont in front by a length and a half. Dominant Dream second. As they come by the stands the first time, Lord Stormont in front by a little more than length. Dominant Dream second. Baltic bet third. Two lengths back to slash fourth. Max Orley up on the outside fifth. Yeho Junction goes right with him sixth. Stags breath seventh. At the half ball pole, Lord Stormont maintains a length advantage. Dominant Dream second. Half time is 59 and 2. Around the clubhouse turn the final time. Lord Stormont leads by a length and a quarter. Dominant Dream second. Max Sawley moving on the outside third. Baltic bet on the rail fourth. On the outside, Yeehaw Junction fifth. Two lengths back to Stag's breath sixth slash seventh. Approaching the three quarter pole, Lord Stormont in front by a length and a half. Dominant Dream second. Max Sawley in between horses, third. That's Yeehaw Junction, three wide on the outside, fourth. Three quarters, one, 29 and three. Around the far turn, Lord Stormont in front now by three and a half, four lengths. Yeehaw Junction the outside, second. Dominant Dream goes off stride. They're at the head of the stretch. Lord Stormont in front by three and a half lengths. Yeehaw Junction down the center track, second. Lord Stormont still in front by three lengths. Yeehaw Junction's not going to get him. Lord Stormont to win the 1997 Yonkers Trot. Eight and four. Lord Stormont and Doug Brown easiest kind of winner in the 1997 Yonkers Trot. Congratulations also to trainer Norm Jones who has been uh, a leading trotting trainer for a number of years. And special congratulations to those who took the chance, put up the 35,000 and got that back and more. Stormont Meadows, Eric Baker of Long Sioux, Ontario, they get the big check. Six, five, and seven go unofficial. Mile again up in 158 and four. And back to the winner's circle. And the victor belongs the spoils is Lord Stormont. And driver Doug Brown. Brownie wins his first Yonkers trot. Certainly profitable trip down from his base on the Ontario Jockey Club. And he gets the blanket, the official Yonkers trot blanket by our very own Christie's. Lord Stormont, who has certainly been a force not only in open stakes company, but a dominant force in the New York Sire Stakes circuit, does New York State very proud this evening. Excuse me. Thank you. As we see the presentation of the blanket and all kinds of good stuff with it. Here come the flowers. And here comes... Yonkers Trot Trophy, a general general manager, Bob Galtierio, with the winning connections. And that name of Lord Stormont will be added to some pretty special names. A who's who of trotters have won the Yonkers Trot. First jewel of trotting triple crown. And uh, your own racehorses, you look, you hope for moments like this. And Lord Stormont providing it for Mr. Baker and the Stormont Meadows, who had enough faith in this gelding, who, by the way, is the first gelding to win the Yonkers. Well, while the board, the uh, 
you take a look at the board there. Well, we are joined in the winner's circle by winning trainer Norm Jones. We'll get Doug Brown in just a couple of minutes. And someone who's trained Trotter successfully for a lot of years, this has got to be a high water mark in your career. Well, it definitely is a high one in my career, and it definitely is a high one in Mr. Baker's career because he's a home bed horse. What did you and, and Mr. Baker and, and Doug and Wally Hennessy have driven this horse? I guess when did you first realize you had something special, and, and when did you first think, well, we're going to take a shot in the Yonkers trot and spend our money and take our chance? Well, I first felt it when he beat a bunch of aged horses in uh, Woodbine Raceway in 56 and 1, parked literally the whole mile with no cover and he drove away on them by three open lengths and there were horses in there that were dropping out of the preferred in the open handicap. And I figured if he can beat those kind of aged horses, he's good enough for almost any stake in North America. We talked last week and you said it was the way that Wally had, Wally Hennessy told you something about the way this horse takes the turns that said, well, maybe this could be a half mile prospect. Wally Hennessy drove him and he broke the track record up there and he got off the bike and he said, uh, this horse isn't in the Yonkers trot. I said, He's not. He said, uh, supplement him. He said, I never drove a horse that can try to turn like him. And he, and he certainly proved In fact, let me get just uh, hold up one second. Norm, we'll get to the prices. As the results have been declared official, the objection was denied. 657 goes official. Prices, as you see, $3.50, $3.224, Lord Stormont. 6.5 exactly. The two elimination winners come 1-2. $12.40. We'll get to the other exotics uh, in just a second. Well, let's, gentlemen, do we get to the exotic? There we go. There we go. 657 is worth 172.50. And tonight's pick four, five, four, five.